Hello everyone, my name is Jessie, I'm an artist and I live in Japan. About one month ago, I did Lucy Hartfelia's exact apartment. For those who do not know, Lucy is a character from the anime and manga called Fairy Tale. She comes from a wealthy family, new money, and after a turbulent relationship with her father, she decided to leave that family behind and join a magic guild called Fairy Tale, where she befriends Natsu and other friends and fights for justice as a celestial wizard. After painstakingly re-watching episodes and gathering over 100 photos for references of her rental apartment and trying to make it look exactly like the one in the anime, I felt the room did not feel personalized and was frustrated at the amount and purpose of questionable items in her flat. So I decided to recreate her real room that best represents her personality and her needs. If you're interested in seeing that video, head over to this link and be amazed! Anyways, let's get started with her new flat. First, there was the question of keeping the aesthetics and time period of the show or do something completely different. I searched a bit around for Tudor homes and other games that have that renaissance medieval look, but as you see with the line art, I quickly threw that away and instead went for a more modern design for her flat that is slightly inspired by Japanese architectural choices for homes. First, I started with the bedroom. I found this picture and immediately felt it was a perfect bedroom space for Lucy. It's simple and slightly elevated from the rest of the apartment and has some storage space under the floors of the bedroom before you enter it which also acts as a small step. Also, the wood pillars separate that space from the rest of the living room area, so it feels private but not closed off completely. I also put her bed on the floor just because it goes with the whole modern, simplistic style. And in real life, there would be a wood slat or wood slats underneath so you don't get mold. But since you can't see it from this angle in an isometric room, I didn't include that. I also put her bra and underwear on her bed to show that she isn't afraid of showing off. She actually has a lot of vanity in the show and manga and, and she's always reminded of that. Oh, and there is some shelving behind the bed with what I imagine would be pictures of her and her friends or a picture of her mother and if she had any other knickknacks to show she could put them there. Later, I do add in hook unit for her belt where she carries all her celestial keys here because why would you put something that important by the front door? Initially, I thought of putting it by the front door with keys, but again, they're too important and I felt like she would put them somewhere a bit more private. Moving on to the living room and kitchen area. From what we know from the anime, she lives alone, but her friends often visit her without her consent and are already back at her flat before she arrives. And because I like L-shaped couches, I figured this would be more inviting for many people to sit around and chat and actually look at each other. Or if they want to sit on the floor, there's a nice furry carpet so their tushies don't get cold. Then, instead of a dining table and open kitchen overlooking the living room area with a table and bar stools felt more appropriate for sharing that space with friends. It's a rental apartment, so I figured the floor plan would be simple. She still does have all the amenities she would need, like a stove, dishwasher, and oven. Although I've never seen her cook in the show and doubt she would have time to do so, but hey, they're there. Also, I added a little nook for her to read and write her novel with some shelvings on the top for the books that she keeps. There's also built-in wall shelves for her to put more books on the side of that. Next, I worked on the bathroom. I know it would be covered with other walls, but I still wanted to include this and the entrance as a separate drawing. She spends a lot of time relaxing in baths, baths so that was important to include. Intermission. 
By the way, if you like my content, don't forget to like and subscribe and put your notifications on so you get notified about when the next video comes up. And if you want to see more art, sketches, process photos, and behind the scenes stuff or just my daily life in Japan, you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. This one was a little tricky simply because I'm not good at designing bathrooms and I don't find them exciting to build, even in The Sims 4, but it came together in the end, I think. There's a bath, of course, and a separate shower area that actually goes down a little bit from the flooring in case she just wants to hop in and out really quickly. Then I included plenty of shampoo, conditioner, soap, and some small rugs so she can dry her feet and just a large window to let that light in. <laughs> of course, it's still very far from the shower, so I imagine nobody can actually see her taking a shower. And she does live, I believe, in the second or third floor of a building, so it's highly doubtful that uh, others can see that in into her bathroom. Anyways, lastly, I also included the entrance as a separate drawing as well. Here you can see more Japanese influences like the genkan and the lowered floor for the genkan as well as that small cupboard for shoe storage. There is space for some animal slippers because I thought it represented her personality and friendship with her celestial keys, which to her are her friends. So she feels like the type to like fluffy animal slippers. I also added some large windows to get in light and a pot plant. I know, last time I asked why she had so many plants because she's always spending her time outside fighting, but I figured a few fake plants would make more sense and it makes this place look less bare and more inviting and, and gives a little bit of color. Plus, she won't be returning home to dead plants, so just imagine these are fake plants. I kept all the furniture in the apartment quite simple again since this is a rental and she's also spending her time mostly outside fighting for justice with her friends. And when she moved out of her childhood home, she didn't have money with her. So the backstory I'm adding is that she may have gotten some large pieces like the mattress, couch and rugs and other things from secondhand stores and throughout her time at Fairy Tale. So she saved some money on the side for her flat. Now since this, again, since this is a rental, coloring this was a little tricky, but I decided in this flat it is okay to paint the walls as long as when your lease is finished, they must be painted back to white. I also had to make sure the hallway and the bathroom matched with the open living space so that it feels like it's the same drawing so I kept the color palette minimal and tested out some flat color layers first. I started to like how the light would look with a min millennial pink or peach color and it seemed fitting for her as well since she's a little bit girly so I made sure to add some of that peach uh, around the apartment like in the living room uh, the flooring, even in the bedroom, the bathroom as well. Everywhere there's some sort of uh, peach undertone to it. So again, it feels like her and it also looks like the same space. And towards the end, I added a few more details like the shading. Not much lighting because I figured there would be ceiling lights. So that's the one thing that I forgot to add in here, which are lights. I personally don't like having too many floor lights or table lamps or wall lamps like that. I, I tend to like more ceiling lights. So I just imagine she would have a lot of ceiling lights here and she has plenty of large windows for that light to come in as well. So <laughs> that's the only thing that I forgot, but uh, I, think, I, I think it still looks pretty good. And hopefully you like it as well. So here is the finished piece. I love how the wood flooring turned out. Not too light, but not too dark. And 
I also really really like that IKEA inspired lamp in her bedroom and just how it all looks woody but it's not overwhelming. And when it comes to the entrance it does seem a little bit simple but again you're just walking from the front door into the living space so I don't feel it was too important to add too many things. It would be too much at that point. So I do quite like this and I'm glad I added those large windows. And of course the bathroom too. I kind of want to try this bathroom in real life to be honest. But can you feel the peach vibes? Can you feel them? As always, thank you for watching this video and listening to my boring voice. Let me know if I did well or royally bad, and if you think this actually represents Lucy Hartphilia better than her original apartment from the anime manga. Or if you would have done something differently, how would you have drawn her room or how would you have drawn her apartment? Anyways, I will see you next time. Ciao!